guys, it's Jessie V, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about a creature that supposedly lives in every single person's house, specifically in the kitchen area, but he likes to hide everywhere, which is probably why you've never seen him. Uh, this terrifies me so much, we're gonna talk about it in just a second. In case you have not seen my previous video, I do have a new purple backdrop. I'm trying to like match, this is not super purple, but I'm trying to go along with it a little bit. If you would like to win it, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, turn on your notification bell, and then head over to our podcast YouTube channel Channel, subscribe and then just comment anything you would like on the recent podcast and I will be announcing the winner in a few weeks now before I get started I did mention this in the previous video we have just launched a way that you can support our podcast channel it is on this bad boy right here which YouTube does not like us saying for some reason so I'm calling it the purple place <laughs> Is that what I called it before? But basically, I'm going to be posting a new bonus video there every single week. This could be a unheard crazy story time. It could be a topic that is not really great for YouTube, like YouTube will censor it. It could be a controversial opinion, a crazy discussion that we think would be great for you guys. But I think it's mainly gonna be unhinged story times. Like the one we have coming this week is about a restaurant experience that I had with my mom. We had just a crazy conversation with the waiter. I told Ty and he couldn't believe it. It literally, it sounds like something out of a movie. Like Ty was literally like, were you pranked? And like, I don't think we were. I think this guy was serious. Anyways, if you want to hear that story, it will be coming up this week in the purple place. Okay. I will put a link to it down below. Totally optional, obviously, just if you guys would like to support the podcast, even if you don't listen to the podcast, but you miss like my old story times, that is where they will be. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. So this creature is called the Domovoy. I hope I'm saying that correctly. The Domovoy is a supernatural creature that you may find in your house although they are very good at hiding. They attach themselves to a family and serve as their guardian. And there is this warning to stay on their good side, otherwise they become very upset and cause mischief. These creatures originated in Slavic mythology and they are commonly described as being a tiny, hairy, male, humanoid creature. Some even say they can look feline in nature. And what's super creepy to me is that sometimes they can even take the form of one of your deceased loved ones. It can also morph to look like the homeowner, so maybe you or one of your parents, or it could even look like a family cat. So obviously when it does this, it can easily trick you. I think the creepiest images that I've seen of this creature is when it kind of looks cat-like because the eyes are just so scary, like they're just staring right at you. Anyone who thinks this is cute is crazy. It just freaks me out so much when creatures can morph into things that you love. Like, is your cat sitting beside you right now actually Actually your cat? Are you sure? Is your dog lying on the floor right now actually who you think it is? By the way, comment a cat emoji if you have a cat and a dog emoji if you have a dog. I almost put up my middle finger. The Domovoi usually stays hidden from human sight and prefers dwelling in dark corners of your home, especially near the stove. And occasionally a person might see the true form of a Domovoi, which is apparently supposed to be a bad omen. It's believed to be a warning of impending death. So if you see him in your house looking like this, that is a bad sign. If you see him as a family pet or one of your family members, it's not a bad sign, but it's still pretty creepy. Yeah, you just don't want to see a little creepy creature with glowing eyes staring out at you from a cupboard or under a table or in the crevice of your stove. It's just, it, that wouldn't be fun. Usually you'll just sense his presence in your home in discreet ways, like the sound of its tiny footsteps or when things in the house are being moved around. And pets making noise in the night are said to be playing with the Domovoy, which is kind of creepy. And they can even touch a person with its hand when you're not looking, or a man may wake up to find that his beard has been and braided and these as weird as they are they are all signs of good fortune and it shows that the domovoy actually loves the family that it's living with so when it likes the family and when it's happy with its circumstances it will protect the family from house fires tornadoes floods robberies like you'll have protection from this creature while it's happy if it's angered however it can cause trouble for the family such as breaking objects causing milk to go off and even 
been suffocating people in their beds while they sleep. So to make sure you keep him happy, you just need to place some milk and bread near the stove. You can even like hide and watch as a little hand comes out and grabs it. And other ways to keep him happy is to not be messy and to not use bad language, especially during meals. Also, if you plan to leave the house for a long period of time, like let's say you're going on a longer vacation, you're supposed to sit in silence for a few minutes before you go away because apparently this is the respectful way of saying goodbye to your domovoy. And if you want to take your domovoy with you, you put a shoe by the stove and he will climb inside. So yeah, it's definitely a very interesting creature. And I still, even though I know that sometimes he will take care of you, it still creeps me out. There is this story that I found called Behind the Cookie Jar. This story is about a little girl named Lena. Her mother had baked cookies and told her that she was only allowed to have one each night after dinner. So after her mother went to bed, she snuck downstairs and followed the sweet aroma of cookies to the cupboard. She opened it up and reached for the cookie jar, but she suddenly heard this faint, melodic humming. It was this very soothing tone, almost like a lullaby sung by the wind. She wasn't sure where it was coming from at first, but after a moment she realized it must have been coming from behind the cookie jar. She pulled the jar forward and was astonished to see that nestled behind it was a tiny wrinkled creature with twinkling eyes. It smiled warmly at her, its tiny hand gesturing to her to come closer. She leaned in and the domovoy offered her a cookie. Obviously Lena could not resist and she took the treat. And they just sat together throughout the night eating cookies, and she was just convinced that she had this awesome, new, cute little friend. However, as the night wore on, his demeanor began to change. It began to play pranks on her, hiding her school books, painting her cat's fur with syrup, turning her alarm clock to blare loudly in the middle of the night. So terrified and definitely exhausted, Lena knew that she had to put an end to all of this. She remembered her grandmother's old tales of creatures like this. So she decided to bring him an offering of bread and honey to calm him down. He devoured the treat and Lena begged him to bring back peace and harmony. And he nodded his head and faded into thin air and then her house was back to normal. She didn't know if he actually left or if he was just hiding in the dark crevices of her house, but she never saw him again after that. So that's kind of creepy because it shows you that maybe they'll pretend to be your friend but they actually want to cause mischief in your house. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this creature. Do you think it's cute? Like, do you want one or do you not want one in your house? Anyways, so guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more of these kinds of videos about like creatures from folklore and mythology and different places in the world, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And if you want to follow our purple page, where we post extra podcast clips and story times. I have linked it down below. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!